Hey, this is a teacher on the radio here, and this is a pre-recorded interview on uh, being broadcast live on uh, today, July 18th on WTTU 88.5 FM from the campus of uh, Tennessee Tech, where the student uh, staff are generous enough to let a couple of their professors uh, get on the air. And I'm actually joined by a, a fellow teacher um, who works at Tech and teaches environmental, but he's got a second gig in uh, a band. Uh, so my colleague and friend Hayden is with me uh, this afternoon because he dropped this incredible uh, new record um, under his own name, but it's really his band, uh, Honeybrook. And they're going to be performing this Friday and you're all invited. The show is for free. Um, and I'm actually putting on a massive uh, poetry reading. I'll be reading with some friends and then it'll be followed uh, by Honeybrook. And I'll especially be probably mentioning this 10 times uh, during the show today. So you've probably already heard me say it once. Um, Teacher on the radio is pre-recorded at my house and broadcast live on 88.5 FM. Uh, occasional Monday afternoons. Once the school year starts, it'll be more Mondays. So welcome to the live stream and also to the radio show, Hayden. Thank you. It's good to be here. Uh, tell us about this new record and also about the the band Honeybrook that is a, a reformation of a band you've been with here in town for a long time. So tell us about the album. Tell us about the band and 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 the songs that are that are on it. And if uh, you can talk as long as you want, but I might have a follow up as well. But I'm really excited. I've heard the album several times now, and I'm just super pumped uh, that you made this record and that you're willing to share it uh, live with us, uh, this Friday night, uh, the show starts at seven. They'll go on probably around, around eight thirty or nine o'clock. So if you have other, other responsibilities, you can definitely have time to get to the playhouse. We're on the quadrangle adjacent to the quad, uh, just, uh, across the street from house of Thai, uh, basically. So tell us about Honeybrook, the new album and all that, and welcome to the stream. All right. Great. Well, the new album is called the next moonlight. I actually have a copy sitting here. Uh, with wonderful photography by um, Chris Ballinger on the back cover and Kelly Lewis Sutherland on the front cover. And we recorded the album as like a pandemic project, really. Um, we recorded it here in my house, partly, and also in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, where uh, Drew Griswold lives. And um, the album really um, had its origins I'd say in the early days of the pandemic, we were trying to figure, every, as everyone, trying to figure out how to deal with this and how to still uh, stay safe, but still maintain our social connections. And we figured out a way to record the album uh, by us being in separate rooms and wearing masks. And so that, that was back before, you know, vaccination vaccines were available and whatnot. So um, we had a lot of fun. We picked, we started with like, 24 songs that I had written and we gradually funneled them down. We recorded about 16 more or less. And then we picked 10 for the album and uh, it turned out really well. It turned out better than we thought it was going to, was going to honestly. Um, Michael Harrison, um, who's also a faculty member at Tennessee tech plays drums and Michael had a large uh, influence on the arrangements and the song order the song sequence was on the album was uh suggested by mike uh, benjamin clark in the school of nursing plays bass guitar and he did uh, a lot of the recording a lot of the initial tracks were recorded by ben clark he's got a lot of good skills in the in the audio uh, realm and then uh, drew griswold produced the album he's an, a tennessee tech alum and he lives uh, down in Mount Juliet, he and his family, and uh, he works for the state of Tennessee. And But Drew also uh, dabbles in some producing and he actually produced the album and did a fantastic job with adding in all of his uh, harmony vocals and keyboards and all the little bells and whistles that make uh, everything come together really nicely. Well, it's a huge honor then to have so many people with uh, uh, the Cookville, Tennessee Tech vibe going on also on this radio station, which is run by our students. Um, and I've had a volunteer TV uh, radio show. I'm sorry. I, I feel like we're on TV now because we're putting this out on, on, on Facebook and YouTube uh, preliminary for the show today. But uh, we've been at it. I've been at it for 15 years. And I remember around 2010, I was 
well into getting involved in the music scene here locally when I first heard a previous incarnation of your of, uh, of your band called Ten Shades. Um, and but there's something about the 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 sound here that is really uh, cultivates a kind of rootsy um, Americana meets uh, psychedelic vibe. I mean, it definitely has that. Um, you know, very, I, I hate to say classic, retro, all these words are, are just placeholders uh, for uh, where it takes us. Um, the, the album opens with a song called uh, 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 Second Home. And I, I think I'll probably today, I'll call today's radio show uh, Second Home. Uh, Cookville's a second home to me, but this is not what you mean by that. You're talking about, what are you talking about in that song? And also tell me what, What's the reason reasoning for the new name? Uh, uh, I know you said you guys have gone by several names and it was a struggle to come up with the, the name. So that's two questions. Tell me about this. Because uh, I think actually this this um, this opening song, uh, several of these uh, tracks are place based. And I actually went and found one of your earlier albums that's up on the streaming services. That's more of a folk album. Also has, seems to have very geographically based songs. So maybe tell me about some of these places that we go in this music. And please, I, I got to know how you guys came up with the name Honeybrook. It's a great, it's a great name. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, Second Home uh, is is a lead, you know, lead off track on the album, and it really sets the tone. I think it's about uh, spending time in nature and feeling uh, rejuvenated and refreshed uh, by that time in nature. And it's it's a lot of our music is kind of very um, influenced by the natural world and spending time in the natural world. And actually that was part of the reason for changing the name to Honeybrook because, um, it has that s small stream kind of feeling to it, you know, uh, and the, the stream is full of sweet music. And so we kind of went with that, uh, name. It also happens to be the, uh, a neighborhood here in Cookville, Honeybrook neighborhood. And that's where we've met for, like you say, we, we've been playing together for about 15 years. And uh, that was traditionally the place where we did all the rehearsing. And uh, so uh, the name is definitely strongly place-based. It's, it's a neighborhood in this town, but it also is meant to convey that, that connection with nature that's so important to us. Somebody asked me, I made a, a little leaflet for our, fr our show on Friday and I handed one to somebody yesterday and they immediately wanted to know if you named it after the neighborhood in Cookville. So that's really great. So yeah. this is a very middle Tennessee uh, sounding album, feeling album. And I definitely, with all the stress that we've all been under with all the various changes in our society these last few years, the pandemic, not the least of them, um, have been taking great solace from the uh, those homes, uh, Cummins Falls, uh, Window Cliffs, uh, Burgess Falls, even in town, we have Cane Creek and City Lake. I mean, we've got, we're so blessed with so many green spaces. Um, the, uh, do you, how does that, how does that sound come about though? Did the band like lean on any particular influences or techniques to come up with that kind of classic rock? Uh, 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 psychedelic sound that I, I'm so enamored with. And I, I must say, I have lots of friends that release music. I don't always, you know, not going to name names here, but I don't always get as excited about a, re a record as this one. And uh, you gave a copy to my spouse, you and her sometimes pass in the halls of Southwest Hall. And I literally put it in the CD in the CD player in the car, which oftentimes, I'll just be honest, you know, I've got my phone hooked up to some various you know, digital music and to have an actual physical CD to put in a physical CD player and to hit play and turn up the volume. It was a very exhilarating thing for me. And I'm assuming you guys will have CDs available for sale on, 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 on Friday. But, but as we, this can be a very short little uh, interlude between some of your songs. So we're going to wrap this up in a second. But tell me, how did you guys get this sound? And like, how, how I mean, were you self-consciously trying to cultivate that time travel that I at least experienced with it to a uh, you know, not only do you take me physically to those natural places that you're singing about, you also take me to somewhere, you know, transcendent, almost kind of like elevated in terms of, you know, and I don't use, I personally don't use any substances, but you made me high with this album. How do you guys cultivate that, that very class? I hate these, using these cliches, but that very hippie classic sound. 
Well, we were after a certain level of warmth to the sound. We wanted it to, to sound very warm and welcoming and also um, sort of ethereal at the same time. Uh, so it, it has this warmth to it, which I really like. Um, and we, you know, we are the different members of the band. This is definitely, I mean, it has my name on it as a solo album, but it's really a full band effort. And each person brings all of their own influences to it. Um, and we have pretty wide ranging interests, you know, um, Michael, uh, the drummer, um, he has a lot more sort of uh, grunge or hardcore or hard rock type interests. And so he brings that element there. Um, Drew loves, you know, 12 string guitar from the 60s and 70s, sort of that jangly music. And, um, and then all of his talents on keyboards. I mean, the keyboards really added so much. And he um, is able to vary the sounds of the keyboards to set those, you know, like on headphones, he uses the classic 70s kind of funky it adds that funky vibe to it um i think more than more than anything a lot of drew's production work was creating that sort of time signature that you're you're picking up on and it's using um a lot of his keyboards um were sort of uh, rooted in you know like this five-year period where people were really using sort of the continental box organ sound or that 70s uh, clavichord Stevie Wonder sound or, you know, and so I credit a lot of that to Drew. Um, and then Ben, you know, his talents as a, a recording uh, engineer and uh, his bass guitar work, just, just fabulous on this album. And so I think it's that amalgamation of, of our influences. But um, like I say, we're really hoping for something warm and inviting something that would provide just a real pleasant listening experience. So I want to thank uh, Hayden Mattingly for taking some time out of his day to do this pop-up interview for Teacher on the Radio, which actually live streamed at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. And we actually had some, uh, according to the stats here, some listeners, people are actually listening to it live. It's being rebroadcast on 88.5 FM this afternoon on WTTU, Teacher on the Radio program. Uh, the, the singer songwriter who's a, a core member of this group is Hayden Mattingly, fellow colleague here of mine here at Tech. But his whole band has got uh, Cookville and Tennessee Tech affiliations. They're named after a Cookville neighborhood. They're called Honeybrook. Uh, the album is called the, uh, the the name of <laughs> the name of the album is The Next Moonlight. And uh, you will have heard some of those tracks. You're going to hear another one right now. Um, and I encourage you to come out this Friday at seven o'clock to hear a bunch of uh Poets uh, reading uh, as warm up to a what will be a surely, uh, as he said, warm and inviting set of the band Honeybrook this Friday, uh, July the 22nd, right here in Cookville at the Becker Playhouse. The show is free. We will take uh, tips and donations uh, to support all the performers that will be there this Friday. Hayden, thanks for coming with me uh, today. Is there a website where we can uh, see uh, uh, this music. Um, I believe you guys have a, a web a web presence. What's the website? And then we'll we'll wrap this up. Sure. The, you can check out the band's website on Facebook, just at, at Honeybrook. Uh, and then the, the website um, for the album itself is at herenow.com. And that's H-E-A-R-N-O-W, herenow.com. And then Hayden Mattingly. And that, that takes you straight to the, the album's website. All right. Well, thanks for your uh, giving me some time this afternoon, Hayden. And y'all go listen to these these great songs and uh, keep up with me at www.teacheronTheRadio.com. Hope to see some of you cook villains out this Friday for a free concert at the Playhouse. Everybody have a great day. Thank you.